Hi guys, welcome to the Gen Z Guidebook Podcast. You are here with your host, Solanki. Today we are here with Mr. Selvim, the founder and CEO of Short Fundly. He is the revolutionizing person of the entertainment platform. Sir, can you please tell us more about your company? Sure, thanks for having me in the show. OTTV platform is growing up rapidly in Pan-India market. And short only we started in uh, 2015 itself and started as an aggregator. And we are, after COVID, we pivoted into OTT Marketplace. Now it's very rapidly growing and we are engaging audience with short films and web series content. There are many such platforms, right? Like Netflix, Prime, Hotstar, OTT platforms. So what are the features that Short Fundly provides which are not there in other platforms? When we started this OTT, right, m- most of the people are coming, okay, I we have a content ready. How do I reach as a mass audience? Or can you make this content viral, trending? So people are coming to us like, like this. And then we figure out a market. I have a different market uh, and it's a growing market actually. Compared to other platforms, they're all media companies, right? So already Z5 has its own network, either before TV or after TV, they can put up or stream the same content into this one, Mm. the existing OTT. But whereas our case, it's literally compared to an Amazon Prime and don't have a media channel, but we are started procuring or we can sourcing the content from different mediums and help filmmakers to reach a global audience. That is the first differentiator. And we build a tech tools for non-techie filmmakers. So filmmakers are not from a tech background most of the time. At least I would say 70% of the time they are not non-techie guys because they are into arts. And we are bringing the science and tech to them to leverage their arts into the next level. As well as uh, we recently noticed that your company just celebrated the 8th anniversary. Yes, right. So it's been 8 years, sir, that you have been a business person. So as your personal experience, what are the lessons that you have learned and like what are the things that you would like to share with our audience? Yes, when you start a startup, right? Uh, so when the first day you don't know the market condition. So you have to keep listen to the market condition. That's the very first thing I would like to share because... When we started, we started like a short film aggregator at that time. No OTT scope, no noise on OTT industry. But the we figure out the market. There is a market size is there. And the market condition is keep changing. Right? We started an aggregator and then move on with the OTT marketplace. And that time, the market is boom up with the geo. So the India market is straightforward to introduce with the geo. No one is preferred downloading. Everything started streaming it. So earlier we used to watch the content through download, door and downloads and then we get a pen drive, films copy and go and watch it in our TVs or laptops. Mm. But now things are getting changed. So my first uh, ideal answer to this is watch the market condition, where we are now and how it's going to evolve. Based on that, you can strategically position your product development growth everything we got to know that you are an angel investor guys yes. so as an angel investor so there are a lot of our audience they want to know that what are the skills that they should develop or the you know technicalities that they should know in if they want to ever become an angel investor i just started my career in a startup hmm. i have worked in around uh, 17 18 plus years in the advertising and marketing background in that experience I closely work with my CEOs. Right now they are doing it, they quit the job and they started doing their own VC firm firm or angel investment firm. So ideally that learning helped me to start at this. See, after completing your engineering, what you do, you just go and talk to a interviews, uh, mm. get the placements done, was started working in a day job. Then when you choose an, as an angel investor, that's a different question, right? Al- altogether, we are a first generation entrepreneurs. We don't have any background of uh, investment side per se. How do you become an angel investor and what are the skill set is required is it's based on your past experience. The way we work with people, the way you communicate, the way you learn from the people. And you can look up your mentors, right? So my uh, my old company, because he was my really good mentors and I see their growth and they see their execution. So they come up with a vision and mission statement and they worked in the startup and they sold out to someone else. They went to an IPO in US and uh, they come into the angel investor profile. Mm-hmm. Earlier, they, they're also literally as typical engineers. They run the show and they completed the show and they move on to the investment side. They ideally know that the mature profile of anyone 
could be this investment side as a businessman uh, finally end of the day we know how the show is going to work based on the market conditions ideally if i have an 8 plus years of startup experience in over the period of time another 5 uh, years or 2 3 years of time i'll be definitely uh, going to sit in a vc firm or a angel investment firm of my own to evaluate startups yes right then i myself st- started Uh, creating a pitch deck for my startup right in the short fund le ott we were pitching to different uh, investors angel investors or uh, vcs uh, or individuals such as nice we noticed that the ba- basic criteria of pitching is uh, one thing from a startup entrepreneur side as an angel investor say we should evaluate the market condition the first skill set of a investor has to be there are multiple levels will be there the investment analyst is the first person who can see and sort list the profiles of a startups based on our portfolio right mm. uh, we could invest on something in a saas or a ev or could be in a robotics so based on our profiles of investors we should definitely think what are the areas we should focus on for the next 5 to 10 years based on the profiles itself we should identify the short listing first level of uh, pitch deck who are relevant to our profile and then we'll call them and uh, shortlist them for further things and the uh, second part is the team the third part is the market condition okay they are working something on a ai okay how much everyone is the buzzword is ai but how much is getting included in the real life real time life we just look for that only uh, and based on that we'll uh, figure out the investment criteria okay it has a market it has a products and it has a requirement to move on to the next level of uh, thing execution then we'll definitely look for such profiles as an investor i just look up all these parameters and then decide okay where should i invest where should i invest my time uh, effort uh, money all the things are involved as an investment so the first criteria as i said market condition even i look for my startup as in the market condition is good then i move on or else when i invite as an investor so i put my effort as an a mentor or uh, giving some insights okay you should move on in this way right in all the cases i look for the market condition based on that i'll decide as an investor so the skill set will be first level of analyzing the market either you just do it by yourself or you can have a investment analysis team to do it but right now we are very close to work with startups plus investment i don't have another one mm-hmm. to do all this and i'll do it by myself it's so that's a very insightful answer i am very sure a lot of you would have a lot of knowledge you have gained from this so have you seen the show called the shark tank yes yes yeah. there are a lot of people are coming and yes it's so on the rise yeah sir the thing is ki what do you think about shows like that like should india should promote these kind of shows where it you know you know helps and motivates these young investors entrepreneurs to come up with such plans do you think that india should take a step forward with shows like this yes definitely because we need that uh, notion right every day in the weekend time you are watching uh, super singer ka show or uh, because it's it's all like there are seasons are coming up you should involve the startup mindset basically keeping this type of shows is really help us to bring in another mindset ka startup ka mindset to our every individual audience right so let's say the family has to accept that you are going to start something you want to become a next unicorn ka startup founder mm-hmm. then you are people are now the super singer or uh, the cinema industry itself is a very uh, myth in the early days of 70s 80s at that time now everyone is comfortable media channel is there i know the path where i have to go and get it uh settle over media right the same way now the sartang is the like a channel where you have to keep pushing our audience and get, set the mindset india is prepared for it and india definitely needs such more number of shows not only sartang mm. we need more such shows so that uh, there are different uh, because in a uh, shows the limitation is a time right you can't cover everything in one show so we need multiple shows from different tv channels who uh, some some shows will address some specific market or some specific sectors or domains so that the people will keep on they don't miss that thing see my core area of interest and expertise is marketing and advertising i can't listen to a robotics capich or anything i'll just change the channel right mm. so if we have more number of channel with these type of shows 
uh, who is really relevant to me and interest to me i'll stick on that so that but, but we definitely need that definitely sir and sir you yourself are a ceo and of course being a ceo you will have so much responsibility <laughs> yes. i think it would be hard for you to even like rest for a few minutes in your life True. how would you suggest the, these students who are going to pass out soon and they are going to start working soon so that work life balance the new concept that you know you need to work as well you need to have your own personal life as well and the stress stress management how do you suggest that you know these students can get that the most of the students entrepreneurs i would suggest uh, the first thing is yes if you are already equipped enough with your uh, childhood days if you are have a at least basic math or a financial knowledge when you run a company right you need to have a finance team or marketing sales team or operations team or there are the team building is a core uh, thing where that you need to have mm-hmm. so if you are already familiar with those things from the student itself you can start kick off and move on but if you don't have that such visibility i suggest them to at least to work sometime as an intern to a startup don't go directly go but see tcs ecs and vibro they are all from grow from here they are all doing well good business in india and those are uh, uh, like a uh, role models for many of them and see their growth and they start started working and st- earlier it was like a service based business now people are thinking of okay we should build some product from india right even i grew up in advertising space so we need lot of more ad tech startups in india as a ceo i suggest that because we we don't have a option after google and facebook we don't have much platforms to brand advertising anything right we need more such startups needs to come into this space and uh, as a ceo i manage my stress by leveraging and listening to different stories of my friends and my colleagues ex colleagues so they they are all keep asking uh, hey how you are uh, going to hire your team what are the techniques you used usually my rest time will be chatting my experience and sharing my experience with with my <laughs> ex colleagues and uh, my friends we, we used to have a chit chat in the weekends and the family time is very very limited but i really you, you should enjoy this moment right and uh, the people are learning from us people are getting motivated people are getting uh, started working towards a dream of building a bigger platforms or companies so they all we'll just share what we learned uh, right and it could be a failure it could be a success so most of the time uh, in in my startup culture i have a theme of uh, this mafia right the startup mafia that uh, we grow up some people who are already working with me but they are they want to build a 3d uh, printing technology ka platform i am not holding them to work for me and me my product no we'll trying to help them and build their own dreams their own products and they can use the existing resources of my team and uh, i board with my execution i'll start listening their stories it could be one more stress buster for me Definitely. that's a new new thing and what they are thinking and what is their uh, plan for the execution the stress management is very hard to be honest it's very hard at least you can spend some time with your kid or uh, your spouse will be more comfortable at least from my lifestyle <laughs> definitely sir sir also like uh, mental health is on the you know the topic is on the rise mm. and uh, things like stress anxiety depression and all this so how do you suggest a student to you know be mentally strong like if a lot of people who go through failure after a point of time they give up on their dream mm. they either blame the situation or they blame themselves but uh, they every person says that you have to keep on working mm. but for that you need the mental strength so how should the students you know build that mental strength for that i have su- suggested two things one is uh, actively you have to involve sports and a little bit of yoga in any sports you see the success and you see the failure okay this match is gone we'll do the next match so it will mentally prepare yourself and to work for a next match the same way that i myself prepare for my startup okay this plan or strategy is not working for me what is my plan b what is my plan c so i go to up to z then i wind up everything and will go for another one right so mentally preparing yourself for the next thing you can definitely attach with the sports that brings you on a really spirit of uh, taking a failure as lightweight and move on to the next plan or next match because you are working towards an idea and you are executing something 
and if it's not getting worked out don't worry you have another match still because it's not the only match mm. <laughs> i strongly believe in that that will help uh, people to move on move on to the next next things and there you will definitely see one match ka toss win match win mm. case definitely <laughs> so that will happen so we, at least you have to have said that patience patience and faith faith uh, yeah. and and uh, see the other good thing is you need to have that uh, notion across your team it's not only about the founders ka patience you need to have the patience with your internal team uh, clients uh, partners who are all working with you need to bring that patience it's hard it's definitely hard but it we need to build that definitely sir if you could give one quote or a moral or something like that to the students out there like to live by what would that be yes a uh, dream really really big yeah. uh, that that is what see we, our vision of short film is to have a world big short film repository the vision is really big world big short film repository how a one man can do it's not a one man show it's a team effort we need to bring right set of people hiring right set of people this is a core thing to make my dream in come into reality right and i'm making an iphone it's not again a touch phone with some good features yes but to make that dream into uh, to real life you need to have a good team to make uh, everything work end to end so dream big that's a only quote i can uh, suggest to the students and people who want to come into the startup world thank you sir thank you for being with us today Thanks. thank you guys for listening to us uh, this was your podcast gen z guidebook see you soon